Welcome back guys, just out here at the pond drop shot and got his little dink. It's not much, just uh, threw him off the bank over there. It was about three feet off the bank where he hit. As soon as it dropped, uh, he smoked it. I'll get back to you guys on more. Here's a release. Right now I'm just throwing the Biospawn Plasma Tail on black and blue. The blue tail. Water's murky right now. This is a key color to have at this time. Uh, the water's still kind of turning over. Um, it's starting to stop where I'm at, but for the most part, the fishing's been down lately. And I've been out here for about a half hour now, first fish, so it's been pretty slow hopefully I get a nice big one for you guys all right guys welcome back it's got another one uh, again this was like about three feet off the bank a couple uh, twitches and stuff then smoked the bios ball on plasma tail just drop shot and get back to you a more welcome back guys Jerry here I'm fishing with the bios ball on bio crawl and I'm, I'm Texas rigging with the bullet weight. Just got my uh, first fish of the day. Been here about 15 minutes now. It's about a three pounder. It's kind of hard to see with my camera. Well, here he is. Pretty big. Three, maybe three and a half. He's uh, doesn't look too healthy. The water's turning over, like I said. And they just took the fountains out this morning, so the ponds be a lot better now. But yeah, he's a nice one. I'm gonna get back to you guys with a few more fish. Uh, like I said, fishing's been pretty rough lately. I'm hoping it can get better. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to be going to the uh, a local lake with my friend. Hopefully, get some good videos. Uh, man. So I'm going to get back to the release. Alright, guys, going for the release here. Of a good fight. Alright guys, this part of the episode I want to talk about what I caught the fish on and what I did to catch them. To begin with, the first two fish I caught were on the uh, biospawn plasma tail black and black and blue blue tail. Alright, this is a four and a half inch drop shot bait and the reason I used black and blue was because of the water clarity and it was getting a little dark out so the um, blast, uh, black tends to stick out more at night and all I was doing to catch the fish were I would cast, uh, try to get at least a foot away from the shore and then I'd get the strike around three feet or so off it varied, majority of the time it was and um, yeah so what I was using was a St. Croix 7 foot medium action Avid and the reel was a Fluger Patriarch and the line I was using was 8 pound Strand Fluorocarbon just throwing uh, an 8 ounce drop shot weight and I was just nose hooking it as you can see it's very durable soft plastic if you haven't picked any of them up yet I recommend you doing so they do catch fish as you can see and my last tournament I had I ended up catching all my fish on these drop shot weights one was on the oh no, plasma tail I mean one was on this purple one here and other two were like a green pumpkin uh, pla and a uh, plasma tail the plasma is also their uh, chartreuse color so if you hear me say plasma tail on top of it that means that's just the color of the uh, soft plastics tip Alright, next today I was using the four and a half inch, no, just four inch file crawl, my bad. There it is. This was candy grass. These come in a seven pack. All the other ones, my bad, also come in a ten pack, if you didn't know that. And the uh, plasma tails. These are a seven pack. And what was different about this compared to like, any other uh, bait is that this has more. Uh, vibration going in the water and it's got like 
a slim body to it. It's very nice. I mainly text rig these with the bolt weight. That's what I was doing for this episode. And I had this hooked up with a 7.3 to 1 Cabela's Prodigy reel, uh, bait casting reel. It's basically, it's uh, Cabela's uh, reels are made by Daiwa, if you didn't know that. Uh, the reel was a, a, a Cabela's Tournament X, uh, ZX. And uh, this is a 7 foot medium heavy rod. It's a Borman jig rod. Um, I was just throwing this on the bank, uh, bobbing it a little bit today since the water's been turning over this, as slow as you can go. That's what I was doing. Just barely moving it. And I had this one hit by a drain, the big guy. Uh, he was pretty skinny for this size. Earlier in the season I caught a fish like that uh, in length but it ended up weighing like four pounds. So this one's about three pounds or so. Um, so yeah, uh, my, also my line on this reel is 14 pound Bass Pro Shops fluorocarbon. This is the uh, my favorite fluorocarbon right now. If you guys have any other fluorocarbons that you like, uh, leave in the comments below. I'll try them out. All right, and once again, if you haven't uh, tried Bowers Spawn Lures out, I highly recommend it. It's uh, they're you know they're a great soft plastic, durable, and um, right now they got they have a uh, stick bait, well a Sanko looking bait. It's called the Exo stick, they got vile craw, it's a craw bait, and a drop shot bait. Uh, three basic soft plastics that you need, I highly recommend them in uh, tight lines. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video, comment what you would like to see in the next video or how I can improve. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy my channel.